Hey everyone, it's Game Maniac back again. Um, just figured I'd do a little video. Uh, this one will be about Toonami and its return this Saturday at midnight. Um, uh, today's the, uh, at least this video is being made on the 24th, so uh, still have a couple days. Um, I just figured I'd put my thoughts about uh, the return and everything. So, um, yeah, pretty much. Um, I'm pretty excited. I don't know about you guys, but I'm, I'm pretty excited about it, its return. Um, hopefully, uh, hopefully it does well. Um, now, what it's going to be is basically um, starting at midnight, and it's just going to run three hours, and then at three three a.m. it's going to repeat at until six. So um, basically, it's going to be six shows. Um, um, we don't know what it's going to really be like. Uh, whether or not uh, it'll be. Uh, quality or not, uh, the actual promos and stuff, we'll, we'll have to see what they're going to be doing and uh, what they are. Um, but basically, uh, the shows that are going to be on there is at midnight, it's going to have Bleach, um, and then after that will be Dead Man Wonderland, followed by Caster and Sins, and then um, after that I believe will be Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, followed by Ghost in the Shell. I'm not sure whether it will be the first season or second season, but I mean, it will be Ghost in the Shell. And then uh, to wrap it up, it would be Cowboy Bebop, I believe. So, um, with that, I mean, it's a pretty, pretty nice little mixture if you think about it. Um, it'll be uh, basically three new shows and three classic shows that they've had. Um, it's pretty nice. So, um, basically, um, a lot of people have wanted this to come back and they actually did it. So, it's kind of nice. Um, my thoughts about uh, the lineup um, are pretty positive, really. Um, I wasn't expecting too uh, much of a change, too much anyway. Um, besides, I wouldn't, I mean, going uh, down the list, uh, Bleach, I'm glad it's still there. Um, I watch, that's basically what I pretty much always watch on there right now anyway. So, um, yeah, so that'll be new still, which is nice, and it's a nice way to kick it off. Um, then, Dead Man Wonderland, I actually have no idea what it is. I never even had heard of it until, uh, uh, um, until this schedule was uh, leaked or uh, shown, so uh, I'm kind of excited to find out what that even is. Um, I actually haven't looked anything up on it or anything about what it is or anything because I figure I'll just be surprised when I watch it on Saturday. So it'd be kind of nice. Um, what else? What else? And then after that, um, oh by the way, it's only I think that that show is only like 12 episodes long, so I'm not sure exactly. Uh, how much it's going to repeat after that, but I mean, at least it'll last through 12 weeks. Um, and then uh, after that is Caster and Sins, which I've seen the first episode of, but uh, I, I didn't know uh, from just the first episode. It seemed kind of cool, um, very style, stylized, but it's like a post apocalyptic type of a uh, setting um, with this like robot hybrid human looking thing I'm not completely sure like I said I've seen the first episode and it's been a while so uh, not sure if I like it or not but I'm, I'm at least gonna definitely check it out um, uh, while it plays new episodes at least um, so it will be interesting to find out more about that um, and then of course after that you got the more classic type shows that have been on there uh, Fullmetal Alchemist Brotherhood is still relatively new uh, really but uh, it's been shown I think this this is the second or third time it's going through its run, so um, I think it's actually only the second time now, actually. So I mean, it's still relatively new if you think about it. Um, but I might watch it from depending on what episode they air each week. But uh, I probably won't tune into that one as often because I own all of it and I've seen all of it, so not really a point. And uh, pretty much the same goes with Ghost in the Shell. I've seen both the first and second seasons of, seasons of it, and um, Basically, uh, I just don't have a point to rewatch that one. Uh, it's good though. If you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. Um, and then they wrap it, of course, wrap it up with uh, Cowboy Bebop, which has been a staple of Adult Swim since it started. So, um, but again, that show I own all of it. I've seen all of it um, quite a few times actually. Um, but it's a very good show. Definitely check that one out for sure too if you haven't seen it. But I'm, I mean, I think most people that have have. Uh, wanted to check it out, I've probably seen it by now. Um, so, I mean, that's their schedule, and then they repeat it at 3 a.m. to 6. So, probably what I'll do is definitely watch the three premieres, um, Bleach, Dead Man, and uh, Kassern. I'll probably watch all three of those, depending on what 
episode, I will check out Brotherhood. Another than that, I probably won't watch it. But I have two different TVs, so I'll probably set it up to on that TV and just let it play, um, just to have it on. I mean, try to support it as best I can, even if I'm not watching it right then and there. Um, but yeah, it sounds like it's going to be pretty cool. Um, a lot of compl I've heard some complaints about it, um, but uh, you got to understand that from what they're saying, they they have like almost no funding for this thing. So they can barely make new promos and uh, Tom lines and stuff. Um, and then even the guy that's doing Tom's voice, Steve Blum, he uh, is either getting very little pay for this or he's doing it just to do it for uh, because he's a fan of it himself. Um, so uh, they're not they can't even afford to get Sarah back. So I mean, it's still a possibility to get her back if it does well. But uh, as of right now, the start of it, she ain't gonna be back yet. So. Um, Sounds like this thing is just barely alive. It, the only thing keeping it alive is going to be fan support. So, with that being said, uh, definitely support it. If you even wanted this to come back at all, or, uh, or even are curious what Toonami even was, um, I'm, I'm pretty sure it'll probably be pretty similar to what uh, what uh, it was before. So, um, we'll just have to wait and see, of course. I mean, no one knows for sure how it's exactly going to be yet, other than Adult Swim. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm definitely excited. Hopefully, uh, you guys support it. Um, what what else was I going to say here? Um, uh, some of the complaints I've heard are uh, that it's basically just Adult Swim with a Toonami skin on it. Um, which, uh, without a doubt, I could definitely see how that, that uh, you could say that. Because, I mean, it pretty much is. Because, um, I mean, hey, they still have pretty much majority... There's only two new shows that weren't even on before. So, it's only two new shows. But, uh... Uh, the other thing with those new shows, I bet you they would have eventually been. They're, they're the type of shows that would have eventually been on Adult Swim anyway. Um, but that's not a big deal to me. It's still new shows, and uh, it's still it'll have a different feel with having these uh, tsunami bumps and stuff. So it'll still feel different than Adult Swim. But it's almost like looking at it like it's an Adult Swim tsunami hybrid because that's that's what it's going to be like, um, which I have no problem with. It's basically tsunami with a more mature edge about it. So like I said, I have no problem with that. Um, what else? Um, people say that they don't have enough nostalgic shows, like classic shows that used to be on. Um, that again goes to where they just don't have the funding to be able to do that. Um, but uh, at the same time, like, why would you really want nothing but nostalgic shows on anyway? Because you might check it out for a while because it's cool to, you know, remember certain shows being with Toonami and stuff, but uh, how long is that going to last? You're going to tune in for a while, and then you won't, because you've already seen the content. You've got to have new content. Um, and I can't stress that enough. You've got to have new content to bring in new viewers and to sustain the old viewers. That's just how it works. Um, so it's more about them showing stuff that has never been heard of or never been aired in America is basically the importance, I think. So like stuff like Dragon Ball Z, Yu Hakusho, and... Uh, some of the other, like the old Gundam shows or even the Tenchi shows. Um, I know there's probably quite a few people now that don't know what those shows are, but they have already had their chance. They've already aired. They've already gone through their runs. Um, and so I'd like to see new stuff, which is what they're doing, which is, I, I like that. Um, there's nothing wrong to having some new stuff, but, or some old stuff, but you got to have new stuff with it. So, um, what else? Pretty much, uh, that's pretty much it, really. Um, I'd love to see some other shows on there if it does get popular again, which is what I'm hoping. If uh, enough people support it and it gets popular again, um, some of the stuff I'd I'd love to see, but they ju they just don't have the funding right now um, to get the more popular shows. Um, but it'd be nice to see um, um, Naruto Shippuden on there, uh, mostly because uh, I know I think Disney still actually do does still own the rights to it, but. Um, um, they don't even show it anymore, and uh, they edited the crap out of it. So, I mean, it'd be nice to be on there. You could, they could actually have it unedited and stuff. Um, that'd be nice. And then um, I would love to see One Piece have another shot because, to me, I think Four Kids, the Four Kids dub, has like ruined people's opinions about the show. I mean, it really has, um, which is unfortunate because I mean, it's just one of them shows that just doesn't stop getting better. So it'd be nice to for to have another shot at uh, greatness, basically, in America. Um, what else? Toriko would be another cool one to see. Um, 
it's only just past its first year in airing in Japan, so it's pretty nice. And then um, Fairy Tale would be another cool one. I know there's only like 48 episodes dubbed so far, but there's a higher chance of them getting more of it if it was airing on TV. Um, plus, it'd be a nice one to see on TV. And with it being on the Toonami Adult Swim thing, they wouldn't have to edit it very much, at all, if at all, because of this. there is some like fan service type of moments in it. Um, uh, what else? What else? Uh, Hiteki Hitman Reborn would be a cool one to see. I haven't seen that one personally, um, and I would like to see it. Um, what else? What else? And, you know, just different shows like that would be kind of cool to see, or even shows I've never even heard of before to see, just see to air it be kind of cool. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much my thoughts about uh, its return and uh, everything. Um, like I said, support it because it needs support. And uh, definitely if you like like anime, support it. <laughs> um, who knows what the future will bring if it does get popular again. It could be awesome. It, I mean, who knows? It might even branch off of Adult Swim and go back to its earlier lineup or weekday lineup. You never know. So just the only way to find out is to support it so with that I guess I'll end the video um, I'll probably do a uh, reaction video um, when it's uh, after it airs either Saturday night after it's done or uh, or maybe Sunday some at some point or maybe sometime at the, when that first week I'll do a reaction video about it um, just to show my thoughts so uh, with that uh, tell me what you think comment below or uh, video response whatever you want to do um, so yeah I hope you guys check it out and enjoy it when it comes on, and I will see everybody later, and see ya.